It's about to drop the most fire album since put that yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and look at here for 5 pi over 4, because we do need to know how to do this. Now, the first thing we should know how to do is graph our angle um, in standard form. So again, guys, this is from day two. If we can't do this, we have a quiz. We need to make sure we know how we understand that. Halfway around circles, pi, 4 pi over 4, and we're going an extra pi over 4, right? The reference angle measures how far it is from the terminal side to the x-axis. So we know 2, reference angle is pi over 4. Yes, right? OK. And then step 3 is finding the, the point that refers to this reference angle. That's just quadrant 1, right? So pi over 4, that was the, actually the first point that we did, which is what? First point we did, square root of 2 over 2. Or, I mean, again, if you're dependent on the unit circle, look at the unit circle. But again, guys, we need to get to the point where we just know that point in the unit circle. Now, step four is applying the signs based on where the angle is. Where is this angle? Which quadrant? Third. Third quadrant. So which coordinates are negative in that third quadrant? Both of them. So when we evaluate the six trigonometric functions, we're going to use that point. Can I see that? Can we now evaluate the six trig functions? Yeah, based on what we know, that's x and y, so let's do. So now the cosine of 5 pi over 4, because it's always the cosine of the angle, right? Now, nobody wants to write 5 pi over 4 six times. We have 5 pi over 4, guys, is equal to theta. Can we just use theta then instead? Right? It's much faster. It's easier. So let's save ourselves some time here. So cosine of theta is the x-coordinate, negative square root of 2 over 2. Um, sine of theta is the y-coordinate, negative square root of 2 over 2. And tangent of theta is y over x, right? which is just going to be positive 1. Yes? Let's go and look at secant. Now, in your definition that you guys wrote down, you had secant as 1 over y. The reciprocal, right? But I think with doing that, that's a little bit kind of tricky. Um, couldn't we just, didn't we, remember, C, remember this cosine and secant? They were just flipped versions, right? If cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse, secant was hypotenuse over adjacent. So could I just flip this rather than doing 1 over? And again, it's the same operation, guys. You're going to get the same answer. But rather than writing it like this, I would just write the flipped version, right? Because they're reciprocals of each other. And then I rationalize the denominator. I'll show my work here, I guess. And 2 squared of 2 over 2. So the final answer is negative squared of 2. And then the cosecant of theta is going to be negative square root of 2. And then the cotangent of theta equals positive 1. Questions? Yes. No? Okay. Questions on where to order the shirt? I'm just waiting for the negative doesn't cancel out. Like First one. No, it still does. It's negative. So the two cancel out, not the negative. Huh? Because your final answer is negative. negative radical. Yeah. If you have 1 over a negative, it's still going to be negative at the end, right? You could multiply by a negative. Are you saying, like, yeah, multiply by a negative. That goes to positive. But now the numerator is negative. It doesn't matter if numerator is negative, denominator is negative. Something, it's always going to be negative, right? 